license tag for the animal control to reunite you with your animal before potentially coming to the animal shelter. Licensing fees go to two places. In part, they go to the city, village, or town where you live and register or license your pet. And then in part, they also go to the animal control so that animal control officers can provide uh, rescue and recovery services for lost or stray pets, including wildlife, throughout the city and county of La Crosse. Licenses are actually due by the 30th of January every calendar year, and licenses are good from January through December. After April 1st, each city, village, or town imposes an additional $25 late fee to the initial price. At your city, village, or town hall, you need proof of a current rabies vaccination, which is a rabies certificate from your veterinarian, and you need your driver's license or identification. And you'd go to your city, village, or town hall, or you can come to the Cooley Region Humane Society, and we can license your pet here. For more information about getting your pet a license, call the Cooley hum Region Humane Society. Now join UWL's Greener Living Committee, Committee in the global event Earth Hour and take your eco-sustainability to the next level. To take a stand against climate change, the Worldwide Wildlife Fund's annual event encourages all cities and major corporations to turn off non-essential power Saturday, March 31st. Earth Hour will take place from 8.30 p.m. to 9.30. During the blackout, the Greener Living Committee is holding the gathering at the Heschler Clock Tower that features acoustic entertainment, food, candles, and refreshment. In 2011, over 2 million individuals and 2,000 businesses turned off their power in Wisconsin alone. To learn more about Earth Hour, go to their website at www.earthhour.org. Each week, the WMCM crew goes out and talks to your fellow peers in a segment we call Campus Insight. This week, they asked about the new city administrator position. Here's what they had to say. Marks the city's referendum to vote on the possible position of a city administrator. The new position will oversee day-to-day -day operations, manage the city government, and enforce city ordinances. Many believe this would take away from the duties held by the mayor, making this a heavily debated topic in this Tuesday's referendum. WMCM wanted to take a closer look to see if the people of La Crosse would be voting in this Tuesday's election and why. I plan to vote on Tuesday, April 3rd, one, to vote yes for the city administrator because we need someone who can run things uh, and run things and who is held accountable on a better basis than a mayoral election can really provide. I will not be voting. Haven't voted in eight years and won't be voting again as I am now an anarchist. Well, I'm going to vote. Um against the city administrator plan because I want to be able to elect my leaders. I don't want, you know, some board of a few people to appoint this person out. Although people may have different plans for this Tuesday's referendum, voting or not, we may see a new city administrator by April 3rd. Reporting from WMCM, this is Noelle Anderson and Jordy Foy. Thanks, guys. Look for the WMCM crew around campus for a chance to have your opinions heard on next week's Campus Insight. And now here's Nabil Dean with a review of the movie, The Muppets. Hi there. Uh, the movie I will be looking at today is The Muppets. While on vacation in Los Angeles, Walter, the world's biggest Muppet fan, and his brother Gary, played by Jason Segel, and Gary's girlfriend Mary, played by Amy Adams, discover the nefarious plan of an oil man, Tex Richmond, to tear down the Muppet Theater and drill for the oil recently discovered beneath the Muppets' former stomping grounds. To stage the greatest Muppet telethon ever and raise the $10 million needed to save the theater, Walter, Mary, and Gary help Kermit reunite the Muppets who have all gone their separate ways. With a lot of effort, some love, and a few musical numbers, we see ourselves going on a journey to help save the Muppet theater. But before I give too much away, let's take a look at the trailer. Would you look at that? Ah! Ah! <laughs> we are the Muppets. Hello. 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 These are our biggest fans. Yeah! <laughs> you excited for our big trip to LA? There's somebody coming. Yeah, excuse me. 
Good grief. Disney presents. <laughs> you guys are so talented. Check it out. Bart shoes. <laughs> The biggest event in Hollywood history. The Muppet Spectacular! Yay! That is awesome! There's just one problem. I'm gonna shoot straight. You guys aren't famous anymore. Yeesh. I wish she'd shot a little more curvy. Let's just start at the bottom and work our way back up to the top. Can't you see I'm busy? Come on, guys, let's go! Step one. Are you one of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? Yes, I am. Tour the world. We should travel by map. To, to Paris! Paris. <laughs> Step two, rehearse the show. I'm doing a duet with my new dance partner. Hola. <laughs> Let's try that lift again, shall we? Reich, the lift again. Okay, on my count this time, okay? In three, two, three, three. Step of final. I believe in you and you and you and, well, all of you. Aww. And now, singing chickens. <laughs> Make the most sensitive. <laughs> Distinguished. Prepare yourselves for head bowling. What? I have not signed off on this. Celebrity filled. <laughs> and sophisticated Muppet movie ever made. <laughs> ever. Have a seat. Thank you. I think I'll stand. Comfy. This Thanksgiving. <laughs> Is this movie in 3D? Nope. The Muppets are as one dimensional as they've always been. Hey, watch it. Jason Segel, Amy Adams, Kermit the Frog, Miss Piggy, and introducing the newest Muppet, Walter. <laughs> and the Muppets. <laughs> waka Waka. You've been replaced. The Muppets. Say move it, say move it. <laughs> Jim Henson's Muppets have been around forever, and part of their appeal is their ability to let us have fun with nothing to worry about. They're innocent with definite personalities, and I wish I could say true mirrors of ourselves. We can only wish we could solve problems like they do in 90 minutes. Maybe that's why the movie is such a joy to watch. It gives us plenty to be cheerful about, and is a way to escape reality. In the film, the Muppets themselves are somewhat passé, according to the latest survey by the media authorities. In fact, they are about to lose their beloved theater. And much like most of America, they have managed to isolate themselves from each other. However, there is now an opportunity to work together to rekindle the flame, to return to normal, and that will require some work and plenty of fun along the way. Soon Kermit, Miss Piggy, and their new friends, including an adorable new puppet, Walter, are on a quest around the world to reunite the old gang, put on a show, and reach their goal. There is nothing complicated or too fancy along the way, just simple, funny dialogue, much of it with a touch of innocence and a hint of subversion. Characters turn around and let us in on the joke, and mod modern audiences get their winks. In the end, the film is sweet, looks amazing and fresh, and for a moment we forget our worries how we have forgotten to connect to the children in us, and we regain our sense of wonder, singing happy tunes, laughing and clapping at simple, funny jokes. Stay tuned to WMCM. Chelsea Hodgins will be back with this weekend's weather. Glamour. These words are easily associated with one place, Hollywood. Hollywood has come to symbolize cinema in the United States, but why? Hollywood in the year 1900 was only one tiny village. How did it end up as the movie capital of the world? The answer is simple, the weather. Back in the early days of cinema, cameras were rudimentary at best. They only operated well in places with plenty of light because the early black and white cameras had a hard time distinguishing between subjects. Movies usually had to be shot outside, even interior sets were often open air to let the sun provide free light. Filmmakers had to find a place that would be sunny regularly enough so they could work uninterrupted. In 1910, a director named D.W. Griffith headed to the California coast and found the then sleepy town of Hollywood. He set up shop and started cranking out productions. Only a year later, in 1911, the first studio was set up in the town, and by 1920, Southern California was the center of the U.S. film industry. Good afternoon, UWL. My name is Chelsea Hodgins, and I'll be your meteorologist for today. Let's take a look at what's happening this weekend. Today has been a really nice day, a high of 58, low of 44, and partly cloudy all day, but there is a chance of some rain going into this evening. Saturday is looking, uh, Friday is looking very nice as well, mostly cloudy all day, high of 58 and a low of 42. 
but for the rest of the night, it's going to lead into some rain as we go into Saturday. Saturday is also looking nice with a high of 71, a low of 53, but unfortunately, isolated showers are predicted for the entire day. But the real news this, this weekend for the weather is Sunday. Sunday